Hello toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. And we have a mail call day. Um, always amazing to come home to a day like today where you have a stack of parcels like this waiting for you. Now this is all stuff that I've purchased on eBay. Um, a, a lot of the items in here are various bits and pieces that I want for toy restoration videos or, or some of my feature videos. Um, but I thought with all of this stuff turning up in, in one day, I've been buying lots and lots of bits just lately. Um, I don't know exactly what's in each one. So um, let's work through it together. I think we'll start with the smallest at the top and work to the bottom. I think we've got one, two, three, six different um, six different parcels here. So we'll start with the smallest and see what we've got inside. Uh, this one's from the UK and just says action figure accessory. Bag inside a bag. Ah, oh, very cool. Very, very cool. This is the um, if you can see it in, in the light there, this is the um, the belt and grappling hook from the vintage Kenner Star Wars survival set. Um, yes, excellent accessory. I've been after one of these. Need it for um, an Atat toy review actually, because anyone who's seen the um, the box of the um, the vintage Kenner Atat, it shows Luke Skywalker hanging from the Atat in his X-wing outfit with this belt and grappling hook around his waist. So that's why I needed one of those. And next one. Again from the UK, plastic discs. Okay, I'm pretty sure these are just gonna be action figure Star Wars stands. I've been buying up some additional figures just lately and always good to display them on figure stands. Yep. Uh, as I thought, a bag of uh, Star Wars figure stands. Exactly what I was after. Okay, next one. From o Austria. Star Wars part. I'll be honest, I don't even remember what this one is. I don't remember buying. I buy from the US a lot. Um, I buy a lot of stuff within Australia because I live in Australia. Um, uh, and a uh, yeah, the US and the UK mainly, not Austria. Let's we'll see. Ah, I've been after this for a while, so that I can do my Star Wars X-wing restoration video. Now. I'm very pleased it's turned up in okay shape. There's a bit of a bend there, but um, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm disappointed. That's a paper thin envelope that that just arrived in. And I paid nearly $50 for this part. I think $40 I paid for this for this part to, um, I've got a, a vintage Kenner X-Wing that um, it has a canopy, but it's very, very badly melted and distorted. Um, you pay $40 for a Star Wars item like this, you expect it to arrive in something better than a brown paper envelope. Um, it has had a little bit of damage. I'll have to check the photos on YouTube that that damage wasn't already there. It's got a bit of a, a bend in the, in the corner. I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, disappointed. For you eBay sellers out there who are who selling uh, vintage toys of any kind, Star Wars, whatever, um, or accessories, don't post the stuff in brown paper envelopes. Give it some, at least some padded protection, but boxes are, 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 are preferred. Um, I'm always more than happy to pay the postage if, if it's gonna be well packed. You know, I don't wanna, um, you know, save a few dollars on postage and then have it arrive like that in a brown paper bag. So, all right, on to the next one. T-shirt 
Okay, so this one's from Australia. This is ah, uh, it's a T-shirt. I know exactly what this is. Uh, quite a few people have been commenting on my YouTube videos saying that I have uh, the best T-shirts on YouTube. Oh, thank you for the compliment. I do like this this Jaws one. Um, for those of you who can see there, Masters of the Universe. Because um, I've done one Masters of the Universe video so far, my Castle Grayskull review. Um, but in the future, I don't know exactly which episode, but a future episode of Toy Histories will cover the history of Masters of the Universe. And I need the t-shirt to wear. So um, let's get this guy out. Yeah, that's an excellent t-shirt. And uh, I'm looking forward to wearing that in a video in the near future. Okay, now we're moving on to the uh, the larger boxes. Um, this one's from Australia, from Victoria, Comic Book Corner. Ah, and again, I I do remember where this what what's in this one, Comic Book Corner. Um, there should be some vintage toys in here that pretty much relate to that t-shirt we just looked at. So let's have a look. Get the box all the way open, it can help. Hey. Here we go. I'm going to be uh, try and be a bit like a uh, magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat. I'll do it one at a time. And first up, we have a complete Zoda from the vintage Mattel Masters of the Universe line. Zodak. Um, and as I said, complete. He has his laser pistol. There's a few more in here. The next one. One of my childhood favorites. Again, he's, com he's complete as well. Clawful. And one of the reasons he was my favorite as a kid, I just love this opening claw feature that he has. And we've got his original accessory, his clawful. I don't remember how many are in here. Okay, last one. Now, not only is this one vintage Mattel, but this is vintage Mattel from the very first series of Masters of the Universe, Stratos. And uh, he was um, he was one of my favourites as a kid. And the reason he was one of my favourites is I was a massive fan of the early 80s uh, Sam Jones Flash Gordon film. And he was the closest toy representation I ever had as a kid to one of the Hawkmen. So for those of you who know, uh, who know Masters of the Universe, Stratos, was a winged heroic warrior on the, the good guy's side. So there's Stratos. Okay, this is not a, not a bad mail haul today. And um, we've got one last box to go. Again from Australia. It's rolling around loose in there. That's not a good sign. Again with the vintage toys. Boxes should be fully fully packed all the way through. You don't want them rattling around inside boxes. This one I really don't remember. Ah, bit of a Masters of the Universe day. We've got the t-shirt, we've had three figures. And in here, there's one more additional Masters of the Universe action figure. Again, one of the first series. I've been trying to complete the first series, and I've actually, I think this is the last guy I need. Um, there, there were eight figures in the first 19, 1983 series, which was 
Uh, He-Man, Teela, Man-at-Arms, Strados, Zodak, Skeletor, uh, Beast-Man, and the final of the eight Masters of the Universe. Merman. And uh, this Merman, he's actually in very, very good condition. Again, complete. I only like to buy um, complete toys uh, as, as often as I can, especially when I'm going to put them in a video. I will never, ever show you guys incomplete toys of any kind. So, um, yeah, as I said, a, a bit of a Master of the Universe kind of mail call day with a couple of Star Wars bits thrown in for good measure. So, um, thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.